today from U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. Today, it's a black and blue matchup in the NFC North between the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings. Joseph now ready to get this one started, and we are underway from Minneapolis. Rodgers going to return it from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Leading the Packers offense out, he has been doing so since 2008. That's the great Aaron Rodgers. Even as he nears age 40, Aaron Rodgers' game isn't taking a single backward step. He became only the fourth player to win back-to-back -back MVP awards and led Green Bay to its third straight 13-win season. He avoids turnovers better than anyone in football at the quarterback position, and Green Bay, they are always a front runner with him under center. Rodgers going to come out throwing. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the game's first play. So. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first. Give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yes. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. He rifles one that's intercepted. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position. And to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. The Vikings offense coming the season, leading this crew, coming off his third career Pro Bowl nod, Kirk Cousins. 
Kirk Cousins is back for his fifth year as Minnesota starter, tied for the longest streak of stability the team has had at quarterback since. Get this. Fran Tarkenton in the late 1970s. He's been excellent during that time, making a second Pro Bowl last season after 4,200 yards and 33 touchdowns through the air. The Vikings, though, still hovering right around 500 at the eight-win mark, hoping to see him lead a talented roster back to the postseason. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Cousins. Throw left side complete. That's Osborne. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25 yard line. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Down of a third and one run, they go pass, and they get 12 yards out of it. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. And we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got us a turnover? <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Now a first and 10 at the 11. To throw his Cousins. Throwing the out route and complete. It's Osborne. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go that sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well-drilled, well-prepared, and excited to start this game. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Some good strong running right there. Some power explosiveness just about got them into the end zone. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Cook. He is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. Throwing his Cousins to the goal line, but it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah, what happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. They'll run for it with Cook. And Cook was fighting for it, but I don't think he got there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss.
Fourth down, field goal try coming. So Cousins is off and on comes Greg Joseph for Minnesota. From the left hash, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. The kick by Joseph is good. And the Vikings have a 3-0 lead. It's a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They won in six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope. The good things are in store here today for them. Joseph now to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more, thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's got a man complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That goes for a gain of 31. That's a great job of working the sideline right there. I love how he tracked the football the whole way. Just reached up and pulled it in. Had excellent field presence to understand where he was in order to make that play happen. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second and seven, Rodgers. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Well, there's times when you see these catches that are made, and we just know the guys playing it are really wishing for college rules. Only need that one, one foot, foot down instead of two. It's awfully difficult on the sideline, isn't it? Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. K.J. Osborne, deep for Minnesota. Yeah, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. the drive with Cook and he is going to lose yardage here officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11 
Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Second and 11 now. Here's Cook again. Flag comes in from the umpire after a gain of about four. And this looks like it's going to be holding. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you. And instinctively, you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now Cousins. Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. And he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a clock. How many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. To throw again on second down. Rodgers. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Sammy Watkins. Bean yard touchdown. And the Packers have moved out in front. It's never fun for a defense to run on the field knowing that they're having to defend a short. Just the idea of trying to limit an offense in that position, daunting for a defense. On his mace for the point after. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Kenetawagu now out of his end zone. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. And we'll see if they can back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. 
others. They're going to look to hit a couple shorter pass on back that way. Deep not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Now that to the sideline and incomplete. Boy, they're going to say there's a receiver in the area. That was close to grounding, but it's second down. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. To throw once more on second and 10, Cousins. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Cue to drag our crossing route really well and give him a chance to let it develop a little bit. You can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, here's Cousins. And he wisely will throw that one away. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've perfection. Jordan Berry out to punt on fourth down. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. As the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because you don't just mince at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments, prevent a repeat of the last series to see the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. And yeah, they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in a defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across. If you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Viking territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's Rodgers to throw. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And this is going to first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 28. To give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Rodgers now on first down. Open man left side. It's the tight end, Tunyon. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. 2021 wasn't quite the 11-touchdown outburst that we saw from Robert Tunyon the year prior. A torn ACL cost him half his season, and the Packers still believe he can be the impact player he was two years ago after his rehab. Pretty impactful play on that one, and it will move the chains. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. He'll go right back to Tunyon. He's down to 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. So 8 yards on the completion there, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Two minutes to play in this half, 7th score.
Ball on the eight, second and two. Rodgers going to throw. This is caught. And he'll be right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. They'll run here with Dillon, and he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. A.J. Dillon taking it in from a yard out, and the Packers are able to cash in for six. So they throw Bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Extra point try now for Crosby. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was A.J. Dillon who capped it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Nwongu now from his end zone. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp. It's one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Cousins on first down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in school. Not below, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Now Crosby for the point after. It's 21 to 3. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. The Vikings run offense. 
And a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive's going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. Back to it after the pick six. Cousin. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Cousins now. It's caught, Smith. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go. First. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. And it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Cousins. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Osborne. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. To the air again, it's Cousins. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. So now after the sack, Cousins and the Vikings come up here third and long. Back to throw here. Under pressure, they got him again. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Now Jordan Berry on to kick this one away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And there will be time for maybe one final play before halftime. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. 
And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. So we've come to halftime here with the visiting Packers out on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet. Climb in this third quarter. The team's are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Vikings set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail it here as we resume play. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. And the Vikings set to go on offense to begin the third quarter. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Again, it's Cook. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Cousins to throw it. Open man is Osborne. He's got him. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across. And third and eight now. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Cousins. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds, so a big call there. That brings up fourth. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary, it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Right. 
Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 15. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Throwing now is Rodgers. That's complete to Lazard. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. From the 31, Rodgers. Open man, here is Cobb. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Rodgers to Cobb, good for a Green Bay first. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Now a first down carry by Jones. Tackle made by Eric Kendricks. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now Rodgers. Over the middle complete. That's Watkins. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 41-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On first down, Rodgers. That's complete right side to Lazard. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. From the 35 on second down, Rodgers dancing to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him the first. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. First and ten, here's Rodgers. He'll get this to Lazard. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride, and I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm, they've been sharp, they've been on it, and they pick up another first down there. Up the middle, Jones. 
And he is going to lose yardage here. Three quarters. And we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Being chased out left. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. A nice job of eluding the pressure there. Scrambling for 11. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. They'll try and run for it with Jones. Uh-huh, he is going nowhere. Enveloped behind the line. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. Touchdown, Packers! Sammy Watkins with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. He's got them out now to a fourth quarter after that one. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and depth of confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him and he delivered and made it a three-score game. After the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately... The second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10, 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside. Bird gets both feet down. For Looking to throw again on second down. Cousins, and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. But we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late point. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And they're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Evening. 
Well, CD, that helps the home team as they try to erase this deficit, give them the penalty for pass interference on the defense. Yeah, and they certainly haven't been happy with what they've seen so far, have they? They're certainly hoping that that call now might get the fans back into this one. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. To throw, Cousins. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Cousins. And this one complete to Smith. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 31-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll throw again. Cousins setting up the screen for Cook. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. First down, here's the run with Cook. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Throwing Cousins. Boy stays up. This ball tipped and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. I have a few questions about that throw because to me there just wasn't a lot there. I thought he tried to do a little bit too much. Almost tried to will a receiver open when there was no chance he was going to be. Nice job by the linebacker being all over that one and knocking it away. On third down, Cousins. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Desperation time. Cousins on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Packers D comes up with a big stop. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was a while ago. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Making the stop there, Daniil Hunter. A 
as usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Again, it's Jones. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. And that's the type of run that you'll live with. In this game, After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football. Look what the defense gave him. Way to the end zone. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. Well, on one side of this, Charles, an impressive victory. On the other, I mean, you think about it, they scored in the first quarter, but then they didn't score in quarters two, three, or four. They're going to have a lot of work to do before stepping back on the field. Yeah, it'd be an interesting tape to analyze, won't it? Because why did it work in the first quarter, but nothing in quarters two, three, and four? So we always talk about adjustments. You don't just wait till halftime. You do a series. To, they'll be working on that in preparation for their next game. So that's a wrap for this. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. Minneapolis, so long, everybody.